Welcome to Kermode Uncut. If you were watching the blog about a week or so ago, you will have seen a piece that I did about a reported quote from Ken Loach in Cannes saying that we should sack critics and get punters in. And I did a response to this. Well, Ken has been in touch to say that isn't quite what I said. Ken, the floor is yours. What was it that you said and what did you mean? Well, um, in, in Cannes, I, I, I made a few criticisms of critics. And then I was asked to do an interview with The Guardian and said pretty much the same thing. And then there was another question, I forget what it was, and and in a teasing way I said we should sack the critics and get a few ordinary people in. But I think a little groundwork is necessary here first. Sure. Um, I mean, first of all, um, I've benefited hugely from critics. Uh, They've supported films that would otherwise have been neglected. I mean, Kess... Kess was saved by Derek Malcolm and Nina Hibbin. I owe them a lot, and and they support other filmmakers who would be neglected. They 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 ensure that good films that wouldn't appear appear. So the, critics have a great job, and and many of them do very well. Um, but that doesn't mean they're beyond criticism, does it? Of course. And um, what I mean, the other thing to begin with, which is very strange and quite amusing, is that critics dish it out on a on a weekly basis. Um, to several films um, frequently and they just dispose of it and some they give a thumbs up to and some they give a thumbs down to. Sure. And filmmakers don't respond. I mean, we sit in silence and we take it on the chin. The moment you say anything about critics, there is a flurry of activity and their skirts go in the air and their hands are raised and how dare you. And I mean, critics can be criticised without yes. invalidating their profession. And without um, and still supporting them if they face redundancy like other workers. So there's there's nothing innately hostile in having a few suggestions. So the suggestions are these: that when you make a film, you research it, you relate it to your own experience of the world as far as you can. You do the, you dig around, and you think: Is a story worth telling? Are the characters valid? Is the conflict valid? Does it have any significance? Is it is it worth telling? Uh, what what's what's the value for anybody seeing this yeah. film? When, by and large, and again, many are all exceptions, but by and large, critics don't do deal with the subjects that that, you, that we deal with when we're making the film. They don't. They don't test, they don't say, is the story worth telling? They don't usually say, is it, what's its significance? Is it of any importance? Does it matter? Is it true? Uh, do the characters reflect um, what we know of the world? Th- those big issues aren't touched. And their references are very often other films. Like the film we've just done, Jimmy's Hall. There are a couple of films that I'm alleged to have been influenced by by one of the major reviews. One I haven't seen, and one I haven't seen for 20-odd years, and it's nothing to do with what we've done. Sure. And instead of relating the point of the film to, to what that man knows, it is a man, what that man knows of the world, he just relates it. He stays within the cinema. And the point of films is to bring the world into the cinema, not, not to leave, make it a closed space, but to bring the world in. And we did a film called years ago called Hidden Agenda, yes, which was about the the shoot to kill policy of the British in Northern Ireland at a time when that wasn't generally accepted as being true. A quarter of a century ago, nearly, we told that story. Nobody said, "Hey, what happens if this is true? How does this link in to the way the British have always dealt with the Irish, i.e., slaughter them? But what what's the consequences for bringing peace to the north?" If, if we have a military which is going around assassinating people. The, the consequences of that, the validity of that idea just wasn't touched. The discussion was, is this a thrill or not? Which is, a, to me, a wholly inadequate response. They didn't have to say it's a good film, but they should deal with the subject that we researched, examined, criticised and then put forward. So, generally... You know this this particular um, complaint aside about you know not engaging with the subject matter of the film. Do you think that filmmakers and critics have a healthy relationship, or do you think it's something that needs to be changed? I mean, there's one other point which um, which I did say in can, which I think is is worth it's just worth considering. It, it's because it's something we've noticed over again over twenty, thirty, forty years is that, and you've heard me say this before, I'm sure, but when you have a, 
characters who are and they're working class characters and they're, they're, they're the victims of their situation the critics tend to like it like we did Riff Raff or 316 or My Name is Joe the moment you just occasionally we've done films where people are, are in a, a conscious political struggle and that, that's based on characters I've known all my life really um, people very articulate whose characters have been honed in in industrial struggle, in political battles, in the front line. And they're fascinating people. I mean, very often, you almost invariably self-taught. You go to their homes and there's yeah. a, a wall of books far better thumbed than any of mine and I went to university. Brilliant people, made huge sacrifices in their personal life to, to, to pursue their, their, their political commitment. You put those on screen and you're immediately didactic. Because they can speak in an articulate way from their experience, they can clarify, they can lead, they can elucidate. And again, the, the, most of the reviews you will read, that we read, will hate that, and you're accused of didacticism. Whereas a film about the CIA showing what good guys are, that's not didactic. Sure. I have to say, on that particular point, I, I do agree with you. I think that your point about uh, portraying those characters as literate and knowledgeable and empowered is a, is a very good one, and I, I, I do agree with you. Mm -hmm. I think, in general, critics actually do try and open things m out more into the real world than perhaps you're giving them credit for. Yes. But I think that that's a, a good point, well made. Mm -hmm. And Ken, thank you for taking the time to come on here and make it. Well, it's a real pleasure, and thank you for the... Um, um for the invitation. It's, uh, it's uh, very nice. Thank Here's you. Here's to the next fight. <laughs> yes. Oh, there's a few coming. <laughs>